Elon Musk's space company SpaceX has made some serious decisions lately, and it looks like they may discontinue use of one of their space rockets. Specifically, it's the Falcon Heavy that will no longer be in use. This is a bit of news about the Heavy that may be really surprising for the space community due to how successful the Falcon Heavy has been to date. Make sure you watch until the end of the video to find out all the information we've researched for you, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. The Falcon Heavy is simply put a beast. It's one of the most powerful rockets ever created. It's the third tallest rocket in production and only comes behind NASA's mighty Saturn V and the former Soviet Union's ill-fated N1. It stands at a height of 230 feet and is even considered to be the most powerful booster of this century. Payloads of up to 141,000 pounds, 64 metric tons, can be launched with it, and it uses two side boosters and a central core in its launches. The rocket is based on SpaceX's Falcon 9 design. The Falcon Heavy has 27 engines on its first stage and generates more than 5 million pounds of force of thrust at liftoff. That is about the same force of 18 Boeing 747 jumbo jets at full power. One of the exciting things about the Falcon Heavy is that its first stage of side boosters are built to return to Earth. The synchronized landing is an amazing sight. SpaceX has spent about seven years developing this rocket, yet it has only been launched three times. There have been promises of more flights for a while, but unfortunately it's possible that the Falcon Heavy will only fly a few more times. The exact number is not certain, but it definitely will remain in single digits. So what went wrong with SpaceX's vision for this rocket? One of the reasons could be the altering of the production timeline. The Falcon Heavy is really not easy to create. That is why there have been some hitches in the estimated production and launch times. The Falcon Heavy was announced by Elon Musk in 2011. Its original payload capacity was 117 pounds. He predicted that the rocket's first flight would be in 2013. We could have judged by normal standards that it would take double that time to launch, so we could have guessed that the launch would have happened at most by the end of 2015. That debut test ended up being delayed by five years, and on February 6, 2018, the rocket made its maiden voyage. It carried Musk's Tesla Roadster and a mannequin named Starman. This particular delay was most likely enhanced by issues with the Falcon 9 in 2015 and 2016. So, although SpaceX was making remarkable progress, Falcon 9 needed to be fixed first. The Falcon 9 issues were near catastrophic. In 2015, a Falcon 9 rocket disintegrated soon after it was launched. It was going on a space station resupply mission for NASA. Elon Musk said the disintegration was likely caused by a faulty strut inside the booster's upper stage. Not long after, in 2016, another Falcon 9 rocket exploded on the launch pad. This also destroyed the rocket's commercial payload. The payload was an Amos 6 communication satellite for Spacecom. It was worth a whopping $195 million. The recurring issues with the Falcon 9 had to be resolved quickly. The Falcon 9 was SpaceX's highest means of raising revenue, hence they had to restore consumer confidence. This led to a new Falcon Heavy launch date being set for 2017. Other delays then pushed it to its actual early 2018 launch date. The Falcon Heavy rocket launch was beautiful, and it was even called one of the most iconic rocket launches in history. This was a sight to behold, but there was a slight hitch. The core booster failed to land and crashed into the Atlantic Ocean. That aside, this launch helped SpaceX line up two Falcon Heavy commercial launches. These were set to happen later in 2018, but ended up taking place in the middle of 2019, while the last one took place on June 25, 2019. When compared to the Falcon 9, the Falcon Heavy is a more expensive venture. The Falcon 9 cost $62 million to launch. On the other hand, the Falcon Heavy cost upwards of $90 million to launch. Of course, the Falcon Heavy is clearly better in value and it can lift three times the Falcon 9 payload. That could justify the one and a half times price difference. However, the difference in payloads between the two is similar because the fairings are nearly the same size. The Falcon Heavy could offer an advantage when there is an item with a high density that the Falcon 9 is unable to handle. However, that rarely happens. Another situation could be if the customer wants to launch their device much deeper into space. To lower Earth orbit, the Falcon 9 can only carry 22,800 kilograms. 50,265 pounds. Meanwhile, Falcon 9 can carry more than that. 26,700 kilograms, 58,840 pounds, to geostationary transfer orbits. In reality, very few customers actually want to reach GTO. SpaceX launches a Falcon 9 about every two weeks. While commercial launches may not be as frequent, 
We are used to this pace. This frequency is because SpaceX has launched their Starlight satellite into orbit. With clients not being as frequent, it's easy to see why Falcon Heavy would be ignored. One now starts to wonder why the Falcon Heavy was built at all. SpaceX and Musk are not known to make decisions on a whim. The answer? Crewed space missions. The original design of the Falcon Heavy was to be able to take astronauts to the moon and potentially even Mars. The Falcon 9 really isn't capable of conducting crewed missions. Its payload capacity to Mars is just 4,020 kilograms, 8,860 pounds. This looks large, but it's actually quite small. Think of all the supplies, months of supplies, sleeping areas, and even exercise equipment among other things. You'll see that the Falcon 9 isn't really that reasonable for Mars missions. We have to remember that a mission to Mars will need several supply missions beforehand. Then the crew mission would start. Now the Falcon Heavy realistically wouldn't make all the trips at once. However, you can carry about four times the Falcon 9 payload to Mars on the Falcon Heavy. The Falcon Heavy Mars payload is up to 16,800 kilograms, 37,040 pounds. This is if you can fit it into the fairings, but they could also use bigger fairings if needed. The Falcon Heavy was obviously expected to make easier supply runs. As of 2017, SpaceX was still considering using it for crewed missions to the moon. SpaceX had planned to send two astronauts on a one-week flight around the moon. Elon Musk shut down the idea in 2018, and he completely scrapped using the Falcon Heavy for crewed missions. This decision was in favor of using the soon-to-become big Falcon rocket, BFR, or what is now known as the Starship rocket. This then gave us another reason why the Falcon Heavy is being ditched. The Starship is being developed very quickly. Falcon Heavy is far lower in performance on every front when compared to the Starship. In payload capacity, Starship is expected to carry about 220,000 pounds, 100 plus tons, into lower Earth orbit. This is about one and a half times that of Falcon Heavy. Starship is theoretically supposed to refuel in space while heading to Mars, and this would help it carry the full payload to Mars. Starship looks more attractive when we consider payload volume. Falcon Heavy fairing has a diameter of 17.1 feet, while its height is 43 feet. This gives it a payload volume of almost 10,000 cubic feet, while Starship's volume is almost four times that at 38,800 cubic feet. The last straw for Falcon Heavy is in its launch comparison. We've mentioned before that Falcon Heavy costs about $90 million to launch. Meanwhile, Elon Musk has said that the Starship may cost only about $2 million. Let's say he's being conservative. By standards, the Starship would likely cost no more than $10 million per launch. Consider that Starship has six times the payload capacity and one ninth times the cost of Falcon Heavy. This means that Starship is 54 times more efficient than the Falcon Heavy, and it makes it a logical decision to wait a new Starship. Not just for lower Earth orbit satellite launches, it's also perfect for supply trips to Mars, which would take away the use of the Falcon Heavy. While these disadvantages exist, SpaceX hasn't given up on the Falcon Heavy quite yet. Falcon Heavy is Elon Musk's backup plan. He says he's ready to carry out crewed missions with it. This would only be if Starship production takes longer than he expects. However, Starship development seems to have been going well so far. Despite Starship SN8 landing failure, they are constantly preparing for more future prototype Starships, which are expected to only gather more needed data for future Starship missions. Taking place in Boca Chica, a heavy booster prototype is being developed quickly by SpaceX. They may possibly reach orbit with Starship by the end of this year because of this. It would be more realistic to look towards 2022 or 2023, though which is not too far away. This also makes it impossible that the Falcon Heavy would be used for crewed missions. Maybe the Falcon Heavy could still be useful for NASA-funded research missions. There was an announcement to that effect in early 2020. NASA wants to use Falcon Heavy in a mission to a metal-rich asteroid. This is set to happen in 2022 and will make use of Falcon Heavy's outstanding work for a few more years, where it will probably be retired after the missions. Falcon Heavy just took too long to produce. That combined with its very specific market and purpose makes it a very hard sell. Starship is definitely coming to take its throne, and that's why launches have been few and far between. Will SpaceX be able to meet up with the Starship demand? Will Falcon Heavy be totally lost? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching one of our videos. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.